Hey, beautiful butterfly family. <clears throat> I just want to share something with many of you. Um, just know whatever you see in here, um, we know it's not facts, okay? Especially as far as me showing you these cards down here. We know it's not facts. We know it's allegedly, okay? But just know there is some truth when it comes to these readings. And I definitely want to go over these cards real quick. But before I do, okay, I want to share this right here. This popped up. In my news feed, it says Eliza Fletcher abduction may not have been planned. And it has here expert. Okay. Not no YouTube sloops. Okay. This is an actual expert that's talking. Okay. Because people don't want to listen to people like myself and others. Okay. Who have to give for the spirit. All right. Many people do believe in us, but a, a lot of people just don't. And that's okay. It's good for people to think outside the box and think for themselves. All right. Anyway, but here is an expert. I just want a minute if you get an idea and hear what he has to say, okay? Well, with T.J. Ward, a private investigator, uh, police have not been able to get much information out of this suspect, T.J., but do you think that with what was found in and around the vehicle, in addition to people who live in and around that neighborhood where she was last seen jogging, could investigators put this case together and put charges squarely on this suspect? Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, I believe so. And this was uh, a, a very, very uh, quick um, investigation that I, I knew from the beginning was not random. This, uh, this, this was a planned kidnapping. And right now, we don't know who else is, is involved. But the witnesses that they, that's gotten information uh, and given it to the police it was helpful. And the information from the, the DNA uh, that they got, knowing what people he was in, now they can uh, now, now they can start pulling some other things together. He's not going to talk. So the, the, the whole thing now is trying to get cadaver dogs and trying to get the DNA and some information. And maybe others keeping this out in the public. Maybe others saw something that may help law enforcement find out where he had put, her, she had put him and uh, where uh, the body may be. Um, cadaver dogs. And so... This is where we are right now, and keep interviewing other witnesses and family members and so on and so forth. So, I'm sure they have taken his computer and, and things from his home and are analyzing it right now in efforts to know that this is probably a plan. Um, this was a planned abduction, and also to try to find out uh, what else they they can they can find that's going to lead to where her body may be. And, and it is your your belief because you're saying some things that we haven't heard so far that she is definitely deceased. I'm not saying she's definitely deceased. She's missing, but I'm sure at this point, um, the, this gentleman has got history of and what we do know that the, she was uh, injured or whatever when when she was taken we know that there apparently was was um, blood or something in the car that has coming up but um you have to take the, the and look at the worst in, in order to um hopefully find out because this guy's not going to give you any information um of where he put her or where she is or whatever so we have to pull cadaver dogs in and hope we can locate some information and hopefully find her and, and you are basing the, the fact that this is not a random attack on the affidavit about the crime um i think i think this was a plan um this was this was planned this was not a, 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 an abduction it was just happened at 4 30 in the morning i think that he had planned or who he was going to take or who what 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 happened to her i think he knew just, to, just as a matter of fact, he just got out of jail for from somebody else that uh, he had uh, victimized. All right, TJ Ward, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you, TJ Ward. Uh, find some answers very, very soon. And, mm -hmm. and this is a pro and this is a professional, okay? So what I do, I look for not only clarity but confirmation. And not only what comes out in my readings, but there are other, okay, wonderful. You know, intelligent, gifted, psychic mediums that are out there. 
And, you know, if everybody keeps saying the same thing, okay, we're picking up on more. We keep saying there's more to the story. It's something to, you know, really look at family, okay? Because this is a professional. And people will take his word before they take anybody else's, okay? Because he's a professional. And, yes, he's on it. He's been doing his research, okay? He's a professional. So, kudos to him. Definitely confirmation. Now, with that being said, I just want to share this real quick. Now, Right here when it comes to the where, okay? As you see, I got field, forest, bushland, backyard, parks, and nature. The key word is nature. In my reading, it was saying something about inside. I'm thinking inside, what, like an inside job? <clears throat> Allegedly. But inside can mean that she's inside of something, whether, you know, it's water, you know, she could be buried, you know, whatever the case may be, okay? At the end of the day, I'm still getting nature as well as you see like a wooded area, trees around, okay? I apologize for the glare. There we go. Now, over here, I'm getting the where. It has here, fair carnival party, hotel, okay? It has here, indoor kids, Place Palace. This is pretty much talking about a restaurant, and that's the key word down there, restaurant. Now, messages don't be coming out just for the heck of it, family. It's something to it. You know, either, you know, the person that, you know, the potential suspect could have had Miss Eliza, you know, in the vehicle, and he could have passed any of these areas. Well, it is stated, okay, on the news that the suspect um, had placed some items in the McDonald parking lot. That's a restaurant. You get it? That's a restaurant. And if many, if many of you check my first reading, you know, it was stated something about check the parking lot of a, um, I think it said a mall-like area. But and it didn't also say something about, you know, cameras. So you know that they already have an idea of who placed the items inside of the um, dumpster, okay, in the parking lot at McDonald's. They already have an idea, okay? They're holding on to information that we don't have. Anyway, here is another where. It has her house. Could it be Miss Eliza House? It has also apartment and residential area, okay? Looking at hotels and all of this. Well, house stand out to me, as well as apartments, okay? And they did mention something about some apartments, remember, when they were looking for him? Okay, let's continue. I think his, he has a, a, a relative, I believe, that lives in some apartments. Let's continue. Then this came out. Family, you know, um, all I know is um, she's still somewhere hidden, okay? And I do sense, you know, if if she was close by, you know, it looked like they, she could have been moved, okay? And maybe she wasn't moved, okay? I could, I could be off on that. But this popped up. It has here trailers, campground, okay, cottage, and tent. Okay, and remember in my reading, the second one I, that I've done, some colors have popped up, you know, and colors can be, it can be an actual color or it can be the word. One of the words, one of the color words was green. And I'm like, green, but green can represent love and healing as well as, as it can re represents um, nature, you know, um, outdoors, greenery. Okay, um, it just depends on, you know, or, or it can represent a street, you know, a name. You get it. And I'm like, well, who would ever thought that they would have her somewhere outside in nature, maybe inside of a tent or a, you know, camper, you know, a trailer. Um, or there could be evidence outside in, in these areas, okay, where they could have had her hidden. Or she could be somewhere, you know, on a campground, you know, maybe allegedly buried. I'm just saying because I'm getting the word inside. So I'm through with that. But the fact that that keyword green popped up, this is allegedly family, okay? I'm not saying she's here. I had Google campground in Tennessee, okay? This is just an example. This right here has the word green in it. See that? Green barrel campground. You just never know. I'm serious. You just never know, okay? Um... See? And it might not be this particular campground. I just thought it was interesting that it has the keyword green in it. Like I said, if it's not a color, it can be the word, okay? That's a clue. But anyway, um, and I'm also interested because I'm not really good when it comes to mapping and all of that. But anyway, I'm also interested, you know, from this location right here in Tennessee, how far is this location 
from where she was abducted. If anybody know down here in the comment section, just let me know. I appreciate it. Um, I'm just curious about that. I mean, you just never know. And I'm not saying she's here, but that's interesting how that word green is in there. Okay? Because it came out in my reading. Lastly, I want to share this real quick. And I, in my community section, you know, um, this same information came out. It may be some additional information, but this same information came out and I shared it in my community section. It has here, there was a motive for committing the crime. As you see, the money bag, okay? And she is an heiress. Okay? And yes, I do believe they do have the suspect, but that's more to the story. Who put him up to it? Okay? That's all I'm saying. Who put him up to it? It's more to the story. It has here... Killer sustained a wound during the murder. It has here. Important details are not being revealed to the public at this time. And we know this to be true because it's an ongoing investigation. And we're not going to really ever know it all because the authorities are going to hold on to certain information. That's what they do. Okay? That's what they do. It is what it is. And we can respect that, you know, but those of us who have to give up the spirit, you know, we have the abilities to, you know, um, tap in the spirit and spirit be peeling those layers, shit and light on the darkness. Just saying it has here victim or victims family was familiar with the killer. Yeah, because this goes back. OK, do your research. All right. Check out um, Dark Rose, my sister in the spirit. Check her. She has a video, a little short um, clipping. And um, there's someone the. um. The new ladies were talking to somebody. I forget who it was, family. Oh, I think he was an FBI agent, I believe. But anyway, they were saying that how, you know, um, Miss Eliza's uncle, okay, uh, yeah, uh, he's the law firm that he uh, worked at, or I don't know if, if he presently worked at this law firm or he, or he used to, but the law firm that he was working at, yeah, someone else was victimized by the same suspect. So, uh, yeah, interesting, isn't it? Victim or victim's family was familiar with the killer. Hmm. Okay, it has here. Social media will provide valuable clues. So, yes, indeed, family, whether there are believers or non-believers, I'm here to tell you people are talking and there are some clues and truths coming out on social media. It has here, suspect lives near the scene of the crime. I thought that was interesting, all right? I just want to share it. And it has here, already interviewed the killer. And lastly, um, I got one more to go. It has here, money may be involved. So, hey, follow the money trail. That's all I got to say. But that's only if authorities do not turn a blind eye, meaning they, you know, put their eye, they have their eyes on just one individual and they don't look any further. And that can happen. And that would truly be an injustice to Miss Eliza. And lastly, it has here, because this came out in my reading, someone coerced the killer into murdering the victim. So as you see, it is more to the story. And the ultimate truth may never come out because in my reading, it is stated the truth would not be televised. So once again, I just want to share this real quick. And all of these are just clues, family. Because I, I believe one of the other potential suspects, he's got missing, okay? So who knows, maybe he's somewhere hiding on a campground in the woods somewhere. But it's definitely something to it. So anyway, much love to you all. Be safe. Much love to my butterflies out there. As well as much love to my beautiful brothers and sisters who have the gift of the spirit. Thank you for your love supporting me. I love you. And together, collectively, family, light will shine on this darkness. Peace and love to you all. And bye for now.